Hello friends, in today's video, we shall look into the theories of distribution. Distribution in economics refers to sharing of output, income or wealth among different factors of production. Consider the production of smartphones. It requires land wherein resources will be extracted and the manufacturing facility will be established for which the company may pay rent. It also requires laborers such as engineers, designers and administrative staffs for assembling the smartphones for which they need to be paid wages. It also requires requires capital in terms of machinery and technology for the manufacturing process for which they may pay rent for capital goods hired as well as the financial investments to maintain the production and for upgradation of technology for which the company earns interest rate. And finally, it also requires entrepreneurship to organize, manage and oversee the entire operations of smartphone production, its logistics and marketing for which they receive profits as a reward. In this example, the entire process from extracting raw materials to the distribution of the final product that is in the form of smartphone involves various factors of production. The theory of distribution helps determine the payment for each factor involved in the production of smartphones. There are two main types of distribution, functional distribution and personal distribution. Functional distribution relates to determining the rewards for the distinct functions performed by each factor in the production of goods and services. In our example of smartphone, the rent paid by the company for the land where the facility is located, the wages received by the workers for their contribution to the production process, the interest earned on the capital and the profits received for the successful management are all functional distribution. Now coming to personal distribution, it is about how individuals in a society receive their income and wealth based on their economic efforts like personal earnings through various sources. Imagine an individual earning not only from land rent but also also potentially from lending money that is interest income from investing in various financial assets that is also another interest income and by providing his labor services they get wages so personal distribution considers earnings from various factors of production that make up an individual's overall income when we talk about how factor prices are determined we are essentially figuring out the prices for using certain resources or services over a period it's not about determining the value of let's say land itself but rather figuring out the price for using that land. This is what we call rent and this principle applies to other factors of production as well. For instance, it's not about saying this piece of land is worth X amount but rather what's the price for using this land for a certain period. That's where the concept of rent comes in. It's the payment made for utilizing the land. Similarly, when we talk about the price of labor, we are looking at wages that is the payment for the use of labor. For capital, it's interest the cost for utilizing the capital goods and for entrepreneurship its profits the return for the use of entrepreneurial skills in organizing and managing production so when economists discuss factor pricing they are not evaluating the inherent value of these factors rather they are determining the prices for the services or use of these factors over time there are micro and macro theories of distribution the micro theory of distribution looks at how different factors of production like land labor and capital capital get paid. It helps us understand why workers get certain wages or why landowners receive rent and why entrepreneurs earn profits. It's like zooming in on individual factors to see how their prices are decided. On the other hand, the macro theory of distribution looks at the bigger picture. It's not just about individual factors, but about how all these factors together share the total income of a country. For example, it helps us understand how much of the entire national income goes to workers as wages, to landowners as rent and to entrepreneurs as profits. While micro distribution focuses on understanding the payments to each each factor of production, macro distribution looks at the entire national income and examines how this income is distributed among the various factors such as labor, land and capital. There are four macro theories of distribution put forward by David Ricardo, Marx, Kaleski and Calder. We shall see each of these theories in the upcoming videos. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friends. Thank you.